Hey friends, if your family is like mine, they adore deviled eggs. But uh, you know, they're kind of a little frustrating to make, aren't they? Uh, because sometimes if the eggs are real, real fresh, the peeling won't come off of them. And then they're jacked up mess. And you have to wind up just making egg salad from them. But there's a couple of ways that you can boil your eggs and they'll slip right out of that shell. Uh, Teresa uh, cooks her, her boiled eggs in a pressure cooker and I cook mine in a steamer. I have a double boiler with uh, the insert that has holes in it. So I fill up the bottom with water, not, not where it's touching. And then I put my eggs in that and uh, they just cook perfectly. And if you find that your eggs are brown when you slice them open and they've got a brown circle on the outside, that means they're overcooked. So you can take your chances uh, on peeling your eggs and just put them in uh, boiling salty water, bring them to a ball, cut it off, put the lid on and let them sit for 20 minutes. So there's quite a few ways to, to get to the end result of a boiled egg. So I wanna tell you what I do when I'm doing deviled eggs. I can't stand the thoughts of not having enough stuffing for the inside. I don't like a skimpy stuffed deviled egg. So what I do is after I have cut my eggs into and got my yolks, I add one whole egg, white and all. And I'm gonna be putting mine in my little tiny food processor. This little processor is so good for like tartar sauces and you know, small amounts. You wouldn't wanna try to make coleslaw in this one. But um, okay, I'm gonna put my eggs in and you'll never see that yolk when I get through mixing them up. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead at this point and add a little salt and a little pepper and let that just get mixed up real good. And I'm gonna check on uh, something that I've got here in the oven that smells mighty good. Teresa, if you want, I think those are about done. If you want to take a look at those, thank you. All right. Oops, <laughs> I didn't sit it on there right. Oh, that's just great. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So much easier than standing up there with a fork and mashing them. See, and you don't see any, any of that white part that I borrowed to make enough stuffing for our tomatoes, for our boiled deviled eggs. All right, so got one more thing I'm gonna put in there and that is our sweet, crunchy bread and butter pickles. Now, uh, some people like to use dill pickle, some people like to use sweet pickle. So it all just depends on your taste. And uh, I think that I'm gonna go ahead and put some sharp cheese in them. I'm just doing these a little different. You know, that's the grand thing about deviled eggs. You can make them any dead gum way you want to. So I decided to add a little cheese to ours. And uh, I'll give them to my family and they may like them and then they may not like them. So we'll just see. So in go our pickles and our cheese. And I just, I just put 
just the amount of cheese that I wanted. So there you go. And I'm going to add some to, uh, mustard. Now you can either use Dijon mustard or yellow mustard, but I've always been a yellow mustard girl. So in goes our mayonnaise. And you want to be careful. You want to be careful that you don't add too much mayonnaise at one time because you don't want your deviled egg soupy. Because, you know, you can always add too, but once you put it in there, you can't get it out. So, just another little scoop. This is a great day to be in the kitchen. When it's raining or bad weather, I love being in my kitchen cooking or in my bed taking a nap even. <laughs> and I'm so sleepy right now. Can, can y'all tell I'm sleepy? <laughs> I am so sleepy. I had a great big old bowl of chicken and dumplings and they all landed right here on my eyelids. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> All right, y'all. This tastes very, very good. Oh. And I think you might like this combo. Like I said, we just do deviled eggs all kind of ways. And there you go, I like a lot of stuffing. A lot of stuffing. And uh, you know what else we like in our deviled eggs? It's shrimp. Because it's just like having egg salad with shrimp in it. But by adding that cheese and that one extra whole egg, that just assures me that we're gonna have plenty of stuffing. And we're gonna have so much, we might can even have us an egg salad sandwich as a treat. Quite often, I'll put onions in mine, too. Uh, and I actually like the de dehydrated onion in salads like this. Okay, how's that looking? I don't want anybody to be shy. Cheated. Yeah, cheated. <laughs> Don't want nobody to feel cheated. It's definitely a two biter. It's not. You know, uh huh. Yeah, this is not a one biter. All right, where do y'all see something needs it? I think they're overflowing. Oh, you think they are? That's the way I like them. <laughs> Better not cheat me on my stuffings. Okay, we can almost make us an egg salad sandwich, y'all. There's not much left. I want y'all to sample it. Let's see how you like it, huh? If you like the sweet pickles, I think you'll love it. But you may be a dill fan, so by all means, use whatever whatever you uh, like your favorite. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle it with a little paprika. Very little, cause I can't get it to come out. <laughs> there, now it's starting to come out a little bit.
Whoa. Okay. That's a pretty good job. <laughs> All right, so we are ready. Now, if I were going on a picnic, I would, and this is when it really gets messy, when you're like me and have so much stuffing in it. This is how I do them when we're going on a picnic, a picnic. I put them together like that. And I wrap them in a plastic wrap. So you get two of them and it's messy. and so good on that picnic. But these are not going on a picnic so I'm gonna fix that right back. And nobody will ever know that I showed y'all that little trick. So there you go. Everybody loves them. Everybody. <laughs> Love and best dishes till next time, y'all. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.